We're we're on. All right, so there's there seems to be some kind of like a misunderstanding between me and some people that are that are talking about how to check their oil on their venture. Now, I think they're talking about a second gen, and I still don't know because I don't have a second. Gen, if the sight window for their oil is down here, right, which is right here. Look at here. Look at right here. See it right there? See that? Can you see that in the camera? Yeah. Okay, that's the sight window. Now, I, I, I don't know if they're in a different place on the second gen or not, okay? But but that's the sight window on a first gen, so and this is all I got to work with. So here's what I do. Here's what I do when I want to check my oil. See where my oil level's at? Mm-hmm. All right, I do this. Actually, I do this one of two ways. This first part, this first way, is kind of like... Um, probably not according to oil, and you're not going to find it in a book. Boy, I wish they put a muffler on it. It's on it. Wow. Uh, what, what I do is these ventures, I don't know again if this, second, if this applies to second gens or not, but these first gens have got a float switch in them for, that tells you if you're getting low on oil, you're, you'll, get a little, you'll get a little signal. Oh, come over here, I'll show you. You get a little. See this stand right here. Look at see this right. This dash right here. That little window right there. Now I'll turn this bike on, and you're going to see that it's going to go through some checks. And one of the checks is going to be a little oil container. Watch. You see that little oil container right there? Did I just point it right there? See it? See it? See it? Yeah. Okay, I'll do it again. Just keep your window on it. Keep your camera on it. See if you can get it on video. It's that third one down. You see it? Could you see it in the camera or no? Oh, yeah. Okay, yes, okay. Yes. All right. Yes. So that little oil guy on that on the dash right here isn't a pressure switch like a lot of people might think. It might should be or is. It's a float switch at the bottom of the of the crankcase that when the oil gets low enough, it doesn't float the switch no more, and bing, the little light comes on. So this is what I figured out a long time ago when riding cross country. You just get on it real hard. Wick it up. Wick it up. You're gonna move. Can you see my hand in there? Now look, I want you to be able to see what I'm doing here. Okay, I'll move it back a little bit. There you go. She's a, she's a pretty good videoer. She's getting better all the time. <laughs> you just take off. Just take one of these old ventures, these old ones, and wick her up real hard in the first gear. Bang her in the second. Wrench her right open like that right there. And what that does is he's got enough oop to roll the oil that's inside of the crankcase back and when it does that if it's low on oil that little light will come on okay and i i literally now i mean and have for a number of years um that's how i check my oil <laughs> which I, I do a lot of that anyway <laughs> so when i when i wick it up when i wick it up <coughs> Real hard. If that little oil light comes on, I know I'm, you know, half court down or something. Mm-hmm. So I'll stop doing it. Um, but this is that's a non-traditional way. Probably shouldn't even put that on there because it might be, might be causing might be causing me more grief in the long run, like I just recently had. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So, but here's the traditional way. All right. What I do to start off with to check the oil in my venture. Now, are you seeing the whole bike here in that picture? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It seems like you're okay. All right. Yeah. All right. So yeah. what I do is I take a rag first, like that. Now clean that sight window off so I can see, so I can see in there real good. Now one of you, some of you people with bad eyes, might need to use a flashlight when you, when you do this, when you do this check. If you can't see, if you can't see clearly. Down in the street there. Okay. Now, see how much dirt I got on my hands? I always get dirty. You can ask my wife, she'll tell you. I can put on brand new clothes and all that kind of stuff. Not touch nothing. Walk outside. Go into the store or something. And uh, I will in and or whatever that word is, I'll end up with grease. And I'll look my new shirt will look just like that right there. Okay? Alright, that's the sign of a good gear. <laughs> Okay, so my so my sight window now you can look down here. You can see that little sight window is pretty clean there. Can you see that little sight oh, window? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now this is the part that doesn't that I don't quite get. I got one out back and I could take a video. If somebody wants me to get a video of it, um, I can do it. One of these uh, 
wheel chocks, Harbor Freight sells them, got legs on it, wheel chalk that you drive into and it clamps onto the bike and it will hold your bike up right. Hey, they work great, I used mine a couple of times for hauling. Uh, but for this kind of stuff, I don't quite get why that's why that's necessary to have that. Even a center stand. I, don't, I only use my center stand for like changing wheels or maybe changing oil, but sometimes not even that. I just slip a pan underneath it, take the, take the plug out and, and drain it and all that kind of stuff. So this is what I do, all right? All right, this is what I would do. You know, good balance on the ground where you know you're not going to fall over. You know, like don't have your feet together like that, chat on the feet. So when you lift your bike over, you fall over. You don't want to do that. You want to have your feet situated like so. Get a good grip on that on that handlebar. All right. Now, um, by the way, we just had a little drag race, and uh, um, I want to correct something. That when we had that little drag race with them second gen, that second gen Vaz, Vaz, are you listening? Biddy, where's on? Are you listening? Um, I was all packed up for going to Don's too. There's probably uh, probably 70 or 80 pounds of tools and stuff in there. I don't know if you knew that or not, but everything was all everything else was all geared up. We were ready to go. So that drag race, I was fully loaded also. Okay, just to make sure that everybody everybody knows that. Anyway, um, so the bike is still fully loaded. All right, now, I want you to watch this. Don't be a don't be Miguel Gorilla and start trying to throw the thing around. It's, it's precision. Okay, now watch. You just grab your bar like that. Tip it, tip it, tip, just tip your bike up. Watch, just tip it up like that right there. See how I did that? Mm -hmm. Can you see me in there? Can you hear what I'm talking about? Look at, look at, look at. and balance your bike. Look at, look at. Did you see how I did that? Watch, I'll do this again. Just, just grab a hold of your handlebar like this, right there. Just grab right a hold of it like that, and tip it up towards you like that, right there. You see that? Okay. Now, what you do is you're going to find a point there where it's going to be balanced, where it's going to take, I'm doing this with two fingers right now, just like that right there, all there is to it, okay, now what you do is you just watch this, you just bend down, can you see me there now, you just bend down like this right here, and like I can see right now, now Cheryl, if, you, if, you'll, tell, if you'll show them, I'm just a little tiny bit, now I'm, I got one hand still free here, okay, I'm just doing this one handed. Can you see in that window? Yeah. I'm just a little bit below half on that oil. See it yeah. rock up? Can you see yeah. it rock up in there? Yeah. Okay. Now, now I'll get back up there so they can see, see that I'm not cheating. And that there's nobody, no neighbors or anything like that holding the other side of the bike. No. Right? No. But I, I literally, I don't quite get, unless they've changed that sight window position, I don't know why Yamaha would, but I suppose it's possible. So, you know, I'm standing here talking to you and balancing this thing. And I could bend down, there, there it is, there it is, there's my oil level, and bend back up. And there, it's right there, and I'm still balancing it. It's not going anywhere, you know. I mean, just balance it, okay. Uh, and I just put it back over there like that. I just checked my oil at least twice that I know of. Three times, maybe. Let me do it again. Here, like this, watch. Watch, like this right here. See that? See that? Okay. Yep. Now, and just bend down like that right there. And you can even, I'll tell you what you can even do. You can... Rest your arm on one of your legs so you're good and stable like that right there. You tip your head down, and then you can rock this thing just ever so slightly. Precise, precision, okay, because you don't want it to fall over and break your leg off. You thought it looked funny walking around on one and a half leg. But what you can, just look right down in there. Let's just see. She's right in the middle, just exactly where I want. Now, see there? You can, you can do that. <laughs> So there's how I check my oil on my venture. Pretty simple, huh? Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs>